Hi, I'm Ben, and this is Nina, and we're from Eagle Optics. This is part of a series of videos that we're going to shoot to show you some of the basic terms and concepts involved with binoculars, a little bit of how they work, and hopefully provide you with information to help you make an informed purchase about what's right for you. Right, today we're going to talk about what the numbers mean, in particular magnification or power of the binocular. All right, let's talk about the numbers on this binocular. You can see the numbers right on the center focus wheel. This is an 8x42, which means 8 is the magnification or power of the binocular. That means that you're seeing the object you're looking at eight times closer than you would with the naked eye. The 42 refers to the objective lens size. Let's take a quick tour of this pair of binoculars. On the front of the binoculars, we have the objective lens. That's the lens that collects the light. On the back side of the binocular, you'll find the ocular lenses. Those are the lenses that do all the magnification, which is what we're talking about today. As you might be able to deduce, the size of the binocular really has nothing to do with the magnification. When considering a binocular's magnification, it's important to note that it has no bearing on the binocular's physical size. Lined up here, we have four binoculars going from smallest to largest, all of which have the same magnification, in this case, 8 power. Now let's go see what that magnification does. This is how you'd see me at zero magnification, or how you'd see me with the naked eye. Let's see what 8 power looks like. Here I am at 8 times magnification. Here we are at 10 magnification. Although you can see me closer, more power isn't always better. Let's talk about how magnification affects field of view. Here we are at zero magnification, or what you would see with the naked eye. You can see a wide field of view and a lot of things around me, like that rock and bend. Let's see what we look like at eight power. Now we're at eight power, or eight times what you saw before with the naked eye. Now, the field of view is a little bit narrower. You can no longer see that rock, but you can still see Ben. Let's see what it looks like at 10 power. Here we are at 10 power, and although you can see me closer, you can no longer see the rock or Ben. So remember that as you go up in power in a binocular, the field of view is diminished. You may want to keep that in mind if you're choosing a binocular for bird watching or spectator sports, where you need a wider field of view. Another thing to consider as you add magnification to a binocular is how it affects the binocular's stability. As I increase the power, any movement of my upper body gets magnified through the binocular's image. For example, if I pound on this table right now, you see a slight jarring of the camera. Let's see what happens when we add more magnification. So here we are at higher magnification. That same jarring motion produces significantly more shake in the image. This is something to consider as you look at binoculars with higher magnification. You're going to need to hold them steady. So one final consideration when we talk about magnification is that how it affects your image stability. As you increase the power of binoculars, keep in mind that you're also going to increase the amount of movement that your upper body has. So with high power, just keep in mind you have to have a pretty steady hand. We hope this has helped you understand a little bit more about magnification, but if you have more questions, just call us at Eagle Optics. Our phone number is 1-800-289-1132 or visit us on the web at eagleoptics.com.